Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back on it with one and only Chris and Sarah of the Ingham clan. That's correct. And they are finally on their travels again. They're saying goodbye to Dubai. We're saying goodbye to Dubai. Goodbye to Dubai. Goodbye to Dubai. That's right. And it's... um. Shockingly, it looks like she's going shopping again. Because why not? You know, why not? Absolutely. It's the last Christmas shopping and dinner with friends. I think that says friends. Friends. Would you believe? I know. I wouldn't believe it unless it was vlogged. So let's hope it was, in fact, vlogged. So, without further ado, let's get cracking right into this nitty-gritty of the grittiest, nittiest video. Finally, the Raccoon Christmas merch line has been launched. It is the long-awaited The True Crime Is Not Believing collection. So you can get it, all manner of merch, including hoodies, t-shirts, notepads, and even, even actual Christmas ornaments for your Christmas tree this year. So head on over to the merch store, link in the description box below. Your support is much appreciated. Thank you so much. Let's get right back into the video. Oh yes, we get to test run the beast. That's the, um, the name reserved for your husband. Am I correct, Sarah? <laughs> Jace, is bit Jace wants to push Mila, don't you? You just want to push Mila, yeah. and that's fine. Yeah. But um, he has been playing in it, and he has said this will be cool when his legs hurt. It's a boss seat. Yeah. Seat this side, yeah. seat this side. It's like yeah, a seesaw. But, but, yeah, but I feel the seat on this side. I feel the seat on this side. Then, but I can see one of them. They would, yeah. yeah <laughs> Good. So. There's not. And this, and then, look, and this, and this, from the tip. Yeah, it would tip. Good, bo good point. If there was an extra <laughs> seat, it would make it tip. Welcome to today's vlog and our last full day here in Dubai. Isabel's Sorry. really got an interesting point to make to you, Sarah. Okay, I know it's your last full day there and you all have to go off on your travels again on a holiday because don't forget you live there. But because you actually live there, that also means that Isabel, if she should so wish would be able to remain there if she wanted to. Am I right? Why did she have to go? Does she need to go? Is there any reason for her to go? I mean, does she not want a bit of time alone, away from the cult? I mean, the family? Does she not want to remain with her friends? Maybe spend spend Christmas with her friends for a change. That could be an option, couldn't it? Maybe she could invite some of her Dubai friends over to the UK to spend Christmas with, with the... um. The, the Inghams, you know, it's like the Adams family, but with the Inghams, right? Um, maybe um, she could take some of her friends with her um, and things like that. Or just stay behind and maybe spend Christmas with them instead. Uh, I'm sure she's got lot, lots of friends and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. The point is, she doesn't actually have to do everything that you do because she's now an adult. And this is her home, right? She doesn't need to go off on holiday, Again and again and again. Making me feel ill with how she's dressed today. Okay, Ella. Yeah. <laughs> we are going tomorrow. We're leaving Dubai tomorrow, which is very sad. But we've got a fun day to be had. So you're joining us this morning, this afternoon, at Dubai Mall, and we're going to. I want to go to Sephora and Mimuso. Somebody said they wanted to go somewhere. Who was it? Esme wants to go to the bookshop because the other day. When yeah, she had two or three books that she wanted to buy. She took them to the till and then the last minute said, actually, I'm just going to buy one. And she bought one, but now she wants to go buy the other because yeah. she's read that whole book in like three days. Um, yeah, she basically wanted to buy, she wanted them both, but she thought she'd only read one because they're more expensive here in Dubai because obviously in part charges and stuff. Yeah. But Yes, Sarah, I remember Sarah. We watched the vlog, Sarah. That's right, I know. It's unbelievable that we would actually remember something that um, was spoken about in this vlog because, because things are so boring that they kind of merge into each other. And um, But on this occasion, I do actually remember what was said, uh, which is um, credit to, to you and 
in your clan, I guess. I'm just babbling on now at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, exciting is, is what I'm saying. These vlogs, aren't they? Fucking exciting. Um, she's read that one in like a couple of days. So now she wants the other one to read for the journey home. Um, so yeah, is everyone ready to go? The mall is not the only place we're going to though today. We are going to meet some friends a little bit later. Um, we're just going to the mall now, quickly. Going to the shops we know we want to go to. And then we're going to meet them. We're going to meet them at the Palm. Um, actually at the hotel they're staying at. So that will be cool. They're actually friends from the UK. What, what are we doing? What are we waiting for? Oh, what's going on? Coming or not? <laughs> Jeez, how cool is that? Can I get it? No, we can't get that, but that is super. Super cool. I bet they'll let you have a little turn. You want to have a little turn? Yeah. Look how cool that is. That is mega. Can you do it? Wow. <laughs> that is actually really cool. And I'm very glad we got to test this out today. Mila. Careful, Mila. What do you think? I love that. Is it really cool? Yeah. Can you make it transform into a transformer? One second, Mila. Ready? Whoa. So cool! Okay, Dad and es uh, Esme, just because you were looking at me, Jace and Mila have gone. They're actually there. They look, so look how cute they look. That's so sweet. Chris is walking really slow because Jace is pushing um, Mila in the pram because he wants to be a boss. So sweet. He won't get in. He's like, I'm a boss. I'm pushing my sister. Do you think it's um, so he, he, he tried to go on his own. He's like, right, I'm going to go then. I'm like, all right, who are you taking? He's like, oh, I'm just going to go. No, no, no. 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 I'll keep Aurora, you take Jason Miller. <laughs> Aurora looks like she's about to go sleep. Aurora, when Aurora was first born, I added this front and parts of But um, when Aurora was first born, she literally was Miller. When Aurora was first born, oh, what, as opposed to the second time she was born? <laughs> oh, you know, you can only be born once. Um, just a little snippet out of my biology knowledge. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. was And now she is Jace. Jace. It's so weird. Yeah. Although someone commented to me the other day, I can't remember what platform it was on, mm -hmm. that last night, oh no, no, it was a friend actually, she sent me a private message, um, that Mila, in the vlog that went up last night, mm -hmm. it's the first time she's ever seen Mila looking like you. Really? Yeah. She said Mila's got really good, um, really good facial features like as well. Oh, so cool. Anyway, we're heading to Mamusa. I get broken this shot. I was about to say it as well, don't go crazy. It breaks me. Don't go crazy. Come on. Guys, I've just got like my monthly money, right? I've just got my money, right? So do I go crazy or do I save it? <laughs> you I save think it. the first option. No, I no, think you save it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, I say I'm saving, but I've got some stuff I want to buy, like for my books. I've got to buy some like little note thingies. Sticky you note know, things so I can go back after. You've got a black line, sorry. sorry I know you're yeah, it's very just, prominent. Just, where? What will be top line? Just a really little bit like that. Like that. No, she likes the line. I was like, I know what you no, mean, but I'm not if moving it. If, 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 if it's like, like a line, no, I don't like it. No, it is a line. It's an actual line. Oh, I see. Got, um, it's going to Yeah. So I'm just going to tend to rub it, but I'm not actually rubbing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, oh, there's a few things I would do when I get from here, so I'm going to get Oh, yeah. right, okay. We're indulging. We're indulging today. Is he? Slay bells ring, are you listening? <laughs> No, that, that just didn't go I'm as happy as far as it's going to go. Alright, okay, bye. I love you! Bye. I love you! I love you! <laughs> go on, you muffet. I'm joking. I can fix the shop with you too. But... No, it's fine. Go help yourself. Go on, go enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'll just stay in the Christmas section on my own. It's fine. <laughs> but, oh, that is cute, is he? My children love soft teddies. I don't care, they love them. They never did when they were younger. But now that they're older, they love them. It's like, do you know what? I, do you know what I find really crazy? Jelly cats. And I didn't know this were even a thing until I got TikTok. But so many adults love jelly cats, and I didn't even know that was a thing. And I think Esme's asked for one for Christmas. But yeah, um, so it's not just children that love soft toys. Right, let's see what I can find in here. Oh, those are so cute. I'm sorry, but they are. At Absolutely adorable. They are so cute. Also, why do I really like these? 
like a little wooden Christmas tree and then you hang on the little they remind me of like I don't know Nordicish. so cute oh babes cute what oh they are really sweet Wait, wink, wink. I like if like cloudy. Has a bird, bird basket. I love bird bird basket. So it's like, you buy mine for the Okay. <laughs> really love these cups. I think they're so sweet. But Jason Miele, don't need anything else for Christmas. Or like Christmas Eve boxes or anything. The girls do need a cup. Um, but I, don't, I just feel like they're too, as the gorgeous as they are, they're not a big cup. They're small. So they'd be pointless to buy for the girls. Guys, I'm sorry, but did you ever see an uglier dolly? Actually, she's kind of cute. No, she's not. In real life, she looks cute on camera, but they're not. They're terrifying in real life. What's that? What is that? Also, I'm really glad that that um, Transformer was out in the ELC and Jace got to try it out because I've sent that off to Santa Claus for Christmas for Jace. I was like, because that little thing were expensive. I don't think it was worth the price. It looks cool. I don't think it was worth the price. But um, yeah, that's gone off to Santa Claus for him, so he's gonna absolutely love that on Christmas morning. Yes, we are. I'm gonna get them. You're gonna get them. They're finding things for, things for each other's burr baskets. I've picked up these. So I got a princess one, and then just behind is a snowman. These are seven Durham, I think it said, or eight. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but I don't want to spend too much money. You know, it's getting it for the thing. Yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, so I think they were seven or eight Durham, which is about one. It's just over a pound. It's less than two pound. Um, and I think it's I don't know the magic or something. You add water, you put them in the trays on the back, and they come with like a liquid, and then they grow or something. The, the dresses grow. The snowman grows. Um, I think I might send those off to the cheeky little elves, and the elves can bring them back one day. Chase and Mila will love doing that and watching them grow. I got them little. I got them little cheap. What are you buying now? Yeah, Would be cheaper to get just a pack. Yeah, but all the packs are good. All right. Um, <laughs> what was I saying then? Yeah, they got a little like really cheap fish tank from when was it Home Bargains I think, and the fish inside it grew when you filled it with water, and they absolutely loved watching the fish grow. Like every morning they jump up. Are you saying hi? Say hi. Like it's on the water, like not good. They will be. Like what if they're like um they're not like they're gonna make like, the like, they're not gonna be see through them. Why they're not highlighting them? I don't know. But yeah, they loved watching them grow. Everyone and jumped up on and went to see it growing. Oh, you're weaving now. <laughs> so I'm sure they'll love to watch their dress grow or their snowman. Right, what yeah, are you doing? Them out on the paper. Also, when you when I first came in here, I thought you could buy this. How cool! I know this is just a display, but how cool would this be for a Christmas gift for a little girl or boy? Like a Ferris wheel full of cars. It's so cool. What you actually do is you just take one off if you want to buy it. But I love the idea of the whole thing. I've got some really lovely mirrors in here. I don't know why, but I really like this one. It's hard to see it because this is probably best to show you the back. It's like a funny shape. It's just really random, like abstracty. I might pick a couple of those up. Um, I'm not sure who I'll give them to, but I'm going to pick up of those for Christmas for the older girls. Right, I'm picking up a few other little bits. I've got some beauty blenders. Whoa, what's going on with the camera? I've got a couple of these beauty blenders and then I've got a couple of these little, um, basically silicone facial cleansing, cleaning kits. Um, I'm just going to get a couple of each thing. I don't know who I'm going to give them to, but I know that all the girls will like them. So I just came out of the mall. I just went to go and pick up a little something, something I've got surprised for Sarah coming up for her birthday. And I had to come outside and just see this for the last time because, well, for the last time till we come back after Christmas. It's just so beautiful out here. I love this water, makes you just want to jump in it. It's so blue. But I love this boardwalk. It's just my favorite boardwalk in probably in the whole of Dubai. Mainly because of these views. It's just got such a lovely vibe down here. I love it. Look at how insane the Burj Khalifa looks. It looks cool, right?
actually walked on the corner. <laughs> These are just like pile fillers. Someone actually commented on one of my vlogs a couple of years ago saying, oh my gosh, you're actually buying things just to stuff up their pile. Everyone does that. Well, not everyone, but loads of people. I've, I've watched so many TikToks recently that people have been like, so I bought this just to basically top up their pile. This is one of them products for me. And for anyone wondering, yes, I do do that. I do buy things that I think they like that are not really expensive, but you know, they're just to top up their piles, which are probably going to be needed this year because <laughs> the presents are expensive. So you do buy tat just to make the pile look bigger. Well, we already knew that. Most of what you buy them are tat anyway, but um, yeah, yeah. It's all about the amount of gifts for you, isn't it, Sarah? It's the amount, you need something to show off. Anyway, it's basically just a cap. You know, like one of those towels where you used to put your hair down and then twist it? I thought that was one of them, but it's not. That's also a hair cap. It's basically like one of the, oh, those. So can you see that hair drying towel? It's kind of similar, but this one's actually a cap. This one's actually a hat, not a cap, sorry, a hat that you just put on your head. It's a little cap thing. Um, so I'm gonna get a couple of these as well. I might actually, I might just get one of each. No, no, I might actually just get three of those, to be honest, because I think they'll all really like those. I'm gonna get three of those as well. I've just left my trolley down here. No worries. We're just walking through the mall. We're on the level where all of the, well, it's the kids' level basically, children's, but there's all the designer, so like, you know. The arms. Yeah, it's all the designer baby, baby clothes shops Burberry, Armani, Fendi, Dolce Gabbana. That's just what's right in front of Dior, Lauren Versace. That's just what's in front of me right now. But only for children or babies. Anyway, as we, as we went, my children got advice to a Christmas party in the future. That's what they no, wear. No, I said an event. Not an event. Christmas sorry, party. an event. Then in future, that's what they'd wear. And what shop is it? Little angels. Little angels. <laughs> as we went, as it looks like it's from Asda. How could you say that? It was so boozy looking. I like, really don't like designer baby clothes. It was just, it was just a black jumper. No, it was just no, a black not the, no, not the black jumper. The black dress, sorry. Black dress. The black dress. They said the black dress. They said it's going to walk they forward while they argue. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the same fabric. It's, I don't bougie. care about us. I care about the tag fam. Exactly. I'm joking. That's a joke, guys. I'm not that tall. That is a joke. I'm just going to walk. Um, but yeah, basically, I really don't like designer clothes for children. I don't like it. Give me next. Give me Asda. Like, they're not nice. They're just. They're and just they should give them like a red carpet event or something. No, like, even if. No, yeah, you wasn't. You'd address me like an Asda jumper if they're going to a red carpet. Well, you know, yeah. no, but I wouldn't go to. No, maybe not, but I wouldn't go to like. We're never going on the red carpet. A designer carpet, shop. So. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't need to worry about that, is me. But um, no, but but generally, I don't like designer clothes for children. They're just so bland and like old. Anyway, we're trying to find Isla. Um, she left us in Mamuso to find a toilet. No, I didn't find it. And now we can't find Isla. Hey. In Dubai Mall. We've lost Isla's a lost. 12 year old girl in Dubai Mall. She's lost. Yeah. She's Thanks, guys. We've got a title for Mel for today's vlog now. Um, <laughs> it's business, guys. It's how it works. Anyway, yeah, we're trying to find Isla. Chris has finished in his shop. He's now heading up with the other two to meet us at the bookstore. And that's where we're heading now. We're heading to the bookstore. We've messaged Isla and told her to go to the bookstore. So, oh, it's busy in here today. And that's where we're going now. And we're actually running out of time because we've got the time to be going to meet people at. And that time's getting very, very close. I thought we'd have loads of time in here. Dubai Mall's just so blooming big that by the, by the time you've walked from one end to the other, you like half the day's gone. Isn't it? Yeah. Where's it gone? Long ways. Get them We've long lost legs. Get, them. 19, yeah. <laughs> Get them long legs going. Why is that so cute, Isabel? Isabel! Oh, that's really cute. What is that? What, is what on earth is that? Oh, it sits between you and your desk. Oh, that one. There's too many books in the store. So it's between you and your desk. What? Oh my. Isabel, you actually need one of them. That is really cute. It sits between you and your desk. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute! Are you joking me? What? 221 yeah, euros? That's like nearly 50 quid for a teddy. I'm sorry as well, but that's just absolutely insane. No, I'm not buy, I don't buy anything. Are myself. you joking me? I just browse. I browse this shop. I can't believe it's 50 quid for a teddy that big. How much is this one? 
Let's have a look. That's it. 106. 20 up. 21 pounds for that. That one the size of my head. That's mental. Oh, but look at that one with his eggy bread. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> like, so cute. Give an arm and a limb. It is, it's mental. Yeah. That is cute. An arm and a leg. An arm and a limb. As well as just off now, she's in her, her little place of heaven. Yeah, and I'll be in my heaven when I'm in the works. Yeah, get me to the works, sis. I'm, on, I'm with you. <laughs> I, I'd rather wait. Also, so many of you guys commented about... Forgot the, forgot the author. Frida. What's her second name? Huh? Frida. You know, the book of, books I've been reading. Saying that the inmate is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's the only one I don't have. Well, not the only one. But I've got the boyfriend and the co-worker. But I was hoping to read. I started on the plane on the way here and I've just not had a chance to read any of it. So I need to read the co-worker still. Can you stop with the And the boyfriend. Books? And then I'm going to get the inmate. It's been like all over my for you page and so I feel like I need to get it. And I've seen everyone say it's amazing and she's got ginger hair. So I could like really role play it in the head. Like <laughs> mm. What if the works that have all these books? She keeps running back to me going, Mom, I've got this one. They've got all the books I really want. Like, what if the works don't have this book? Because I remember going to the works. And I'm sure Amazon will. I think Amazon. Yeah, but what's the funny line for Amazon? I've got something on the lens. I need it. Look how nice that is. There's, there's so many people in there. Yeah, I know. Look at them. Look, at, all guys. The, look at them all. <laughs> Which one did you like, Is? Um, I've got this book. I've read this in like 2022 or something. Surrounded by idiots. This looks good. That one, and also this we one. We know a few of those. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> Vampires? No, but it's about like it, it's, oh, it's, right. yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. it's a energy one. Yeah. Basically. No, oh, it's a, it's just, hello. Hi. Hi. You're right. I'm wearing the for 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 ages. Yeah. Sunset. Just arrived to the Atlantis. Because you were running across the car park, we just got to Dubai, did the valet parking. The, the valet guy drove off and we left the camera in the car. So Chris literally had to run, chase the valet driver <laughs> for the camera. Right, we got these two in the little pram now. Turn around, Missy. Turn around. There we go. Right, let's go. Let's go. Jace has been a boss. Yeah. Good boy, Jace. Boss boy. Oh, I do love it in here. It's so, so pretty. We just finished eating dinner and I'm, everyone's just sat eating ice cream in the ice cream stall. I'm coming to Bath and Body Works. Oh, hi, Isla. And guys, I've just been back to Mum to ask if she approves of this deal because Mum's like the master of all bargains, right? And she'll tell me if it's a good bargain or not. Is it a good bargain? <laughs> Mum thinks it's... Well, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but your mum is not the master of all bargains. Just because something is cheap, it does not necessarily mean it's a bargain. I'll give you an, an example, right? A plant, a plastic plant for one pound, right? It's cheap, right? Sounds cheap. It's not a lot of money, possibly. Um, but do you need 50 plastic plants? No. Do you need any plastic plants? No. If you buy a plastic plant for a pound, it's one pound extra spent that you didn't need to spend. Therefore, it's not a bargain, right? It's it's just um, it's, it's extra money that you've paid out, which is what Sarah, your mother, does an awful lot. She buys things for the sake of buying it, even if she doesn't know even if she doesn't need it therefore it's not a bargain it's actually extra money spent bargain she still wouldn't spend 25 pounds on a candle but she thinks it's good that you get one free so basically bath and body works are doing a mix and match well, if you buy, buy one, one i might get have to one get free. my body spray <laughs> buy one get one free so i asked mom and she thinks it's a good deal and i think i'm gonna get the pumpkin 
pumpkin spice latte because I have one like this. But for some reason the scent's gone. Like it doesn't smell anymore, but it was literally just from her bag. I can see the reason. I might I, um sorry. It's gone. I probably would literally get this. It's the winter candy apple, I really want it. The other reason I'm not just finding it is because it was not 29 oh, no. in the shop the other day, now it's 49. Was that a marina? Yeah, but it is buy one get one free. And yeah, I don't know if they'll have this deal in Bath and Body Works in at home. So yeah, I think I might get these candles because I love this one. It's so Christmassy. It looks so cute on my little train on my bed or something. Um, but it's a cranberry wood one. I'm so picky with like scents and everything, so I'm gonna try every single one of them first before I choose on one. <sighs> I know Mum will like that one. Mm. But look, I'm shopping for me, okay? Mum doesn't like like latte or pumpkin spice or vanilla scented candles, but I do. Mm. Okay, strawberry pancake. It's good, but it's not what I want my room to smell like. It's too, it's too much. Let's have a look. Is there any other one? This is gonna smell clean, and I want my room to smell clean. So, sun drenched linen. Oh, see, that's really nice. It smells like washing powder, and that's like the nicest smell ever. But it's winter. I'm kind of looking for like a warm scent, you know. so many. It was a really nice vanilla one. They've got a vanilla bean one, but it's too sickly. I don't like it. There was a different vanilla one last time I came, but I can't see it anywhere. Okay, I think I've decided. Wait, it's not good. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna get the pumpkin spice latte for like fall times, um, and then I think I'm gonna get the cranberry woods one because it smells so good. I don't know though because like. I want this one to look good because it's like Christmas. That one. Oh, that one. One smells perfume and one smells body misty, so I don't know. But I want this vanilla one because I love the packaging. Like, it looks really like clean and like simple, but the, uh, the scent is too sickly. I think I can. Okay, I've decided I've got a fall Halloween y one and a Christmassy one. I think I'm gonna buy these because they're £25 each, but they're doing an offer for buy one get one free. So basically, I top on each. So I think I'm gonna go with these two. You literally can't take me anywhere. I just get, I'm just like mum. I just see things yeah. and I'm like, I, I got, I'm I got, on it. I got the two body bits. I got the winter candy apple, and I think it was the brightest blue But this and this off. I went, excuse me, how much is this hanky? And she said £35. It was like that small and £6. And then the other lady went, £42. And I went, oh, okay, cool. Because I didn't want to buy one. Yeah. And then she went, oh, and these ones. And I went, oh, okay, thank you. And she went, oh, these ones, and these ones, and these ones. And I said, okay, thank you, that's fine. And then I did it in front of me, and I said it. And she went, oh, thank you. Let's do a little reaction. Such a blooming. Is that our car? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Come on, then, let's go, guys. It has been such a wonderful evening. I'm. We'll speak to you guys when we get back to the house. And we are back home. Yay! We had such a wonderful day today, and I know for you guys it's probably really frustrating because we weren't able to. Well, it went that we weren't able to film. Yay! We could have filmed, but we just didn't want to film because we just were enjoying the day. And it just, I don't know, it, it would have been a bit random to get the camera and be like, hey guys, so we're just doing that. We literally went for pizza. Um, and then we went and sat outside on the, like, the beachy benches. The kids played on the park for ages. And then what did we do? We went and got... Ice cream. Ice cream. So hang on a minute. You're telling me that you didn't actually film your friends? Not only did you not film your friends, but you didn't actually film going for the meal with your friends, right? Which is fine, you don't have to film it, but to clickbait that you did it is a little bit random in, in my opinion, because you can't say this is what we did and then just not show it or or do it. It's just, you know what I mean? It's just don't put it in the title because you didn't do it, right? This vlog is not about doing that, so don't put it in the title to say that we're going to show this in the vlog when it's not even in the vlog, right? At that Queen Marie place. Mom, Mom, yes. I, I know how to do it. Yeah, I think I Huh? Come in to do it over here because I've got packages there with the address on it. Yeah, I've got some of Mama's on packages. Okay. <laughs> Literally leaving in the morning. Give me, give me, give me it. 
Oh, uh, excuse me, listen, we don't speak like that. If you want it, you say, please, can I have it? Please, can I have it? There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, can I have the camera? Hold the camera. Guys, we made our friends. And then we had ice cream. We did meet our friends and we had a lovely time, didn't we? Uh-huh. And then we said, bye-bye. We did. We said, bye-bye. Enjoy your cocktails. <laughs> they went to have some cocktails, didn't they? Yeah. We had to come home to pack. Yeah. Um, and it's like 10 p.m. And go to bed very soon. And then go to bed very soon. Um, yeah, we did extend the day quite late. We, we just had too much of a good time. Um, but we do have... We don't really have much to pack, to be fair. The girls have gone upstairs to pack some bits. All we've got to pack is like toiletries, really. Um, not really that much. But I do have two packages from Amazon that have just arrived. I thought I was going to include them in yesterday's vlog at the end, but I'm just going to show them now. Right. They've gone upstairs now. Mila's just going up. So, we've got not that much, like I said. There's not too much going on here. So I told you yesterday I'd ordered another one of these. So that's arrived, lovely. I ordered some Calvin Klein perfume. And some, so just basically some perfumes, but not massively expensive, not like 140 like the other one. Some Hugo Boss, that looks really nice. Um, Ezzy. Some of these, she's absolutely in love with Dove um, bath products at the minute. So this looks really nice, this body wash. I ordered some of these, I did them in different colours but they all look kind of the same. They're not, they are all different. They're kind of similar but different. Uh, yeah, really cute for the three girls. And then I ordered these in England. But they weren't magnetic ones, they're like paper, just like regular ones. Oh, I've got some more stuff in here actually for the girls. More lip glosses. These are like the roller ones. Um, they really like the roll on, you know, with like the ball, the mammy of deodorants. But they really like them, so I got them one of those each as well. Anyway, yeah, I got these in the UK for their Christmas stockings. But they're like the, they're not the magnet ones. Um, they're like just stickers so sheets of stickers they look really good and they've got amazing reviews and yeah i've got them in the uk but then i saw these ones and i was like oh my gosh you guys know that i love magnet toys at the minute i don't don't know why but i do but these are reusable magnet ones so you pop out all of the dots which are actually quite big they look small in there but i think the dots are quite large which is good and then they use them to either fill in the pre-pictures so there's five pictures that they get to fill in with the dots. Or there's an imagination board, which is this black one here. And then they get to, yeah, make their own images. Uh, I just thought they were really good and they looked cute. I thought they'd make a nice gift and it's definitely something that Jason Miller will enjoy doing. And that's the last of the Christmas shopping in Dubai because we fly back to the UK tomorrow. We're leaving here at 11, I think. So it's probably going to be a fun but busy, busy day. We're just going to pack in the last few bits. I think Jay's just said he wants to bring Toffee, his dog, home. Um, and the girls have gone upstairs to do their bits. And then I think that we're still going to watch a prison break. Even though it'll end up being quite a late night. But it's all good. Hopefully they'll sleep on the plane tomorrow. Um, obviously the little ones don't watch programmes like that. They go to bed. Um, but yeah, tonight, today's vlog's probably been a bit rubbish <laughs> from your guys' points, so I apologise for that. But I hope you all enjoyed watching anyway, and I hope you've enjoyed watching this little trip back to Dubai with us. I know there's lots of you guys that just do enjoy just general Dubai content, so hopefully you've liked it. It's gone so fast for us. Like it fit, don't you think it's gone fast? Yeah, I hate it. I feel really, I really don't want to go home. Chris doesn't want to go back. Oh, it feels God. like I feel sad we just days. arrived. Like I don't understand how it's already time to go. No. I swear I thought we had longer than we did. <laughs> I'm sure I thought we had like two weeks. We've only had like 10 days. It's 10 days with the traveling days, so it's, yeah, it sucks. It's been rubbish. It hasn't been rubbish. And that's a normal holiday, a normal holiday length. But it just feels like it's gone very quickly. 
I'll tell you why it feels like that, Sarah. It's because you, yeah, get this, right? Get this. You are not on holiday. That's right. You are actually living there. So you are actually at your house. So it's not likened to, you know, this is a normal holiday length because you're not actually on holiday, are you? Remember, you're on, you're at your house now, your home. This is where you live, you know. You've been spending time with your friends. You've been going to school. You've been going to activities that the kids had most definitely signed up for. Have, have they signed up for, like, dance or anything over there or, or any former activities since they live there now? Nothing? Oh, shocking, shocking. Anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. On that last point that I made about um, activities and stuff like that, why don't you get your kids to do something, anything that's of a normality, right? I'm not saying they have to go to school. If they're doing homeschooling, do homeschooling. But, you know going out with friends, going to dance classes or, or whatever it is that they are interested in, get them signed up, do something, do something that's of some sort of normality that you can say to your, even to your little iFam, right? This is what we do. This is relatable to you. Come back and watch little, really, I do dance or whatever it is that, they want to do and let them do it right instead of letting them waste away their entire lives in that vlog there you mentioned that esme read a book in three days right which is fine i would always recommend reading it's good it's a good activity it gets the brain motoring and the imagination going and everything like that but if all they have to do of a day is read a book they're not doing enough. There is not enough going on in, in their lives. The fact that she's read a book in three days, I, I would suggest it, it just means that she hasn't got anything else to do. I mean, it's good that she's reading. I'm not, not complaining about that. But anyway, um, point made. My point made. Let's go. Let's get on with life, shall we? Um, until next time, guys, please give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.